Hello everyone, welcome to the first test, or first video test, of the C programming series. Basically, I've been thinking recently about the written test that I had at the beginning of the lessons, and um, I haven't really been continuing with them, uh, mostly because they're a lot of work, but um, I just thought maybe it'd also be fun to uh, create a video version of the test, and kind of fun because then you can interact with it and do whatever you want. So basically what I'm going to be doing is giving you a sample problem and I'm going to get you to write the code and basically you use the lessons that I've that you've already learned and you will write some code that creates whatever I tell you to create. So for this uh, test here I want you to create um, this output right here. So we have six lines down and six lines across in total, and each line it increases by one star. So on the first line we have one star, and the second two, three, three, etc. So um, basically it goes to six, and that's what you have to really know for when you're trying to create this. Six down, six across. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you about five seconds to write your code but obviously you may want a little more than five seconds so uh, just pause the video and then just continue on with um, my explanation right after so I'll give you five seconds and then just pause the video and then continue whenever you're done writing your code alright see you in five All right, so uh, now that you're done writing your code, hopefully, um, now let's try to go over how this works. So I'm gonna want two for loops. I want one for loop to print down, and then I want another one to print the stars across. So I want to have two variables, or two incrementer variables, so that I can um, basically use them in the for loop. So now for loop, and I'm gonna start out with my i, and we're going to start with 1, and we want 6 lines down, so we're going to say as long as i is less than or equal to 6. So that'll give us a total of 6 lines, and we'll have i++ at the end to increase by one line each time. So now, um, we want to have another for loop inside of this, and now we're going to use j, and we're going to, we're going to start out with 1 star, so we'll say j gets 1 to start, and as long as j is less than, oops, less than or equal to, and we want it to have six stars by the end, so less than or equal to six. And of course, j plus plus at the end. So now, for our statements, um, we want we want a condition in this because obviously, if we left it like this and just put a printf with a star, we'd have six stars going across every single time. But we have to have some kind of condition where um, that doesn't happen. So what we want is an if statement, and we want it so that um, basically the uh, what am I trying to say here? For when it's on line one, we only want to print out one star. When we're on line two, we want to print out two stars. So how we're going to work this is as long as j is less than or equal to i, and that's because when we're on line one and j is equal to one then both these are equal to 1, it'll print out 1 star. When we're on line 2, and j is equal to 1, that's true, and then it'll go through the loop again, j equals 2, that printed out 2 stars. So that's how this if statement works. So now we'll just make a printf, and we'll of course put a star in there. So now one last thing, we have to get these uh, lines down somehow, so we need a backslash n somewhere in there, and that'll be after this for loop, because this is every star that's put in, but we want it at the end of um, the first run through this, because that this represents how many lines we have. So every time we go through the loop once, we want to have our backslash n, so that we can do go down one line. So let's go ahead, build and run this, and as you can see, we get the same output that we got up here. And that's how this um, setup works. Now, just as a side tip for your coding purposes. Um, you can also try to get out of this for loop earlier because what happens after if you're on line one and you're still going um, if you've printed out one star and obviously you're not going to print out another star on the first line 
but it still has to run through all these numbers. It still has to go through this for loop six times. So we can have an else statement in here, and we can break out of this um, for loop, and literally it's just called break. And what that allows you to do is break out of the for loop that it's in, or I think it might work for while loops too, but don't quote me on that. But I think it works. It works for breaks or works for for loops. Sorry. So um, anyway, uh, this break will get us out of this for loop uh, earlier, and then we won't have to go through all the rest of the numbers. So that's just um, a little side note. And let's try to make this code a little better here. We will um, just leave that. Ah, uh, no, I'll just leave it like this. What I was going to do, actually, no, I'm going to change it. I will change it for the sake of, I don't know what the sake is, but I'll just change it so that you can learn something new. So, again, if you, um, if I, I taught you, I think I taught this in a previous tutorial, but if you only have one line of code after your um, if, else, or um, anything, really, if you have one statement after your condition, then it will print out, or it will run the um, it will run out it will run the statement right after. If you have two things after it, however, like something after this, it doesn't work. So uh, this only works for one statement after the if, and that's why I got rid of the curly braces because I don't need them in this case. So let's go ahead, build and run this again, and as you can see, I get the proper output once again. So that's just um, the first test and maybe many of them if you like them please leave uh, your likeness in the comments or like the video whatever you want to do um, and if you again if you have any questions on separate things you can send me a message and also please be sure to check out the channel because uh, there's a YouTube moderator thing set up on it and I'm um, basically putting it out there for any suggestions that you have for the channel so anyway, this was the first video test of the C programming series. Alright, maybe I'll see you again.